Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're embarking on a nostalgic journey as we revisit some of the most iconic Hollywood actresses from the 1980s and uncover their shocking transformations in 2024. From their glamorous red carpet looks to their current appearances, prepare to be amazed by the evolution of these legendary stars. Without further ado, let's dive in and witness the captivating journey of these iconic actresses. Mariel Hemingway is an American actress born on November 22, 1961, in Mill Valley, California. She comes from a prominent family, being the granddaughter of writer Ernest Hemingway. Mariel gained widespread recognition for her role as Tracy, a young woman who falls in love with an older man, in the 1979 film, Manhattan, directed by Woody Allen. Throughout her career, Hemingway has showcased her talent in a variety of roles across film and television, earning critical acclaim and accolades, including an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress for her performance in Manhattan. Beyond acting, she's authored several books delving into topics such as health, wellness, and her family's history of mental illness. As of now, Mariel Hemingway is 62 years old continuing to make occasional appearances in film and television while also being an advocate for mental health awareness and holistic living. Her enduring career and advocacy work serve as a testament to her multifaceted talents and commitment to making a positive impact. Katherine Oxenberg is an American actress born on September 22, 1961, in New York City. She gained widespread fame for her portrayal of Amanda Carrington in the popular 1980s primetime soap opera, Dynasty. Oxenberg's portrayal of the complex and manipulative character earned her critical acclaim and made her a household name during the show's run. Beyond her role in, Dynasty, Oxenberg has appeared in various television shows and films, showcasing her versatility as an actress. She's also delved into writing, penning a memoir titled, Captive, a mother's crusade to save her daughter from a terrifying cult, recounting her efforts to rescue her daughter from the Nexium cult. Currently, Katherine Oxenberg is 62 years old, continuing to work in the entertainment industry while also using her platform to raise awareness about issues such as cults and mental health. Her contributions to both acting and advocacy reflect her dedication to using her voice for positive change. Deborah Ferentino is an American actress born on September 30, 1959, in Lucas Valley Marinwood, California. She initially gained recognition for her role as Devon Adair in the science fiction television series, Earth 2, which aired in the mid-1990s. Ferentino's portrayal of a resourceful and determined leader in a futuristic setting garnered praise from audiences and critics alike, contributing to her rise in prominence within the entertainment industry. Throughout her career, Ferentino has appeared in a variety of television shows and films, showcasing her talent and versatility as an actress. Her performances have earned her nominations and awards, including a Saturn Award nomination for Best Actress in a Television Series for her role in, Earth 2. Today, Deborah Ferentino is 64 years old, continuing to work in the entertainment industry with occasional appearances in television and film projects. Her dedication to her craft and her contributions to the world of entertainment serve as a testament to her enduring talent and passion for acting. Michelle Mayerink is a Canadian actress born on September 1, 1962, in Vancouver, British Columbia. She gained fame for her roles in several iconic 1980s comedy films, notably portraying quirky and endearing characters. Mayerink's breakout role came in the 1982 film, Valley Girl, where she played Lauren, a friend of the protagonist. Throughout her career, Mayerink appeared in a string of successful films, including, Revenge of the Nerds, 1984, and, Real Genius, 1985, where she showcased her comedic talents and unique charm. 
Her performances earned her a dedicated fanbase and solidified her status as a beloved actress of the era. While she stepped back from acting in the late 1980s to focus on her personal life, Michelle Mayerink's contributions to the world of comedy cinema remain memorable. Now, she is 61 years old, leaving behind a legacy of laughter and entertainment that continues to resonate with audiences worldwide. Sonda Bergman is an American actress and dancer born on November 14, 1951, in Kansas City, Missouri. She rose to fame for her role as Valeria in the 1982 film, Conan the Barbarian, alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger. Her portrayal of the fierce and independent warrior woman garnered attention and established her as a notable figure in the action-adventure genre. Bergman's career extended beyond acting as she was also a skilled dancer, having worked as a Broadway performer and choreographer before transitioning to film. She showcased her dance prowess in movies like All That Jazz, 1979, and Xanadu, 1980, further highlighting her versatility as a performer. Throughout her career, Sonda Bergman earned praise for her physicality and commitment to her roles, earning her a dedicated fanbase. Presently, she is 72 years old, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances and contributions to both the realms of acting and dance. Christy Swanson is an American actress born on December 19, 1969, in Mission Viejo, California. She gained widespread recognition for her starring role as Buffy Summers in the 1992 cult classic film, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which later inspired the popular television series of the same name. Swanson's career spans over three decades, during which she appeared in numerous films and television shows, showcasing her versatility as an actress. She has portrayed a wide range of characters across various genres, from comedy to drama to action. While Swanson's career includes many notable roles, she is perhaps best known for her portrayal of the original Buffy, a character that has become iconic in popular culture. As of now, Christy Swanson is 54 years old, continuing to work in the entertainment industry and maintaining a presence in film and television. Her enduring contributions to cinema and television have left a lasting impact on audiences worldwide. Julia Louis-Dreyfus is an American actress, comedian, and producer born on January 13, 1961, in New York City, New York. She rose to prominence for her role as Elaine Bennis in the iconic sitcom, Seinfeld, which aired from 1989 to 1998. Her portrayal of the witty and neurotic character garnered critical acclaim and earned her several Emmy Awards. Louis Dreyfus's career has been marked by continued success, with notable roles in television shows such as The New Adventures of Old Christine and Veep, the latter of which earned her numerous awards, including additional Emmy Awards and a Golden Globe. Her comedic timing, versatility, and ability to inhabit diverse characters have solidified her as one of the most respected figures in comedy. Currently, Julia Louis Dreyfus is 63 years old, still active in the entertainment industry, and continuing to make significant contributions to film, television, and comedy. Her legacy as a talented actress and comedian remains enduring and influential. Carol Alt is an American supermodel and actress born on December 1, 1960, in Flushing, Queens, New York City. She gained fame as one of the leading models during the 1980s, gracing the covers of numerous prestigious magazines such as Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, and Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue. Alt's modeling career paved the way for her transition into acting, where she appeared in films like Private Parts, 1997, and Beyond Justice, 1992, as well as television shows such as Homicide, Life on the Street, and Amazon. Her versatility and beauty garnered her attention in both the fashion and entertainment industries. 
Beyond her work in modeling and acting, Alt has authored several books on health, nutrition, and beauty, becoming a well-known advocate for healthy living and wellness. As of now, Carol Alt is 63 years old, still actively involved in modeling, acting, and advocating for health and wellness initiatives. Her enduring presence in the industry reflects her talent, versatility, and commitment to promoting a healthy lifestyle. Nancy Travis is an American actress known for her versatile performances in film and television. She was born on September 21, 1961, in New York City, New York. Travis gained widespread recognition for her role as Sylvia Bennington in the 1987 comedy film, Three Men and a Baby, starring alongside Tom Selleck, Steve Gutenberg, and Ted Danson. Throughout her career, Travis has showcased her talent across various genres, including comedy, drama, and romance. She has appeared in numerous television shows and films, earning critical acclaim for her performances. Some of her notable credits include, So I Married an Axe Murderer, The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, and the TV series, Last Man Standing. Today, Nancy Travis is 62 years old and continues to make significant contributions to the entertainment industry. Her enduring career and diverse range of roles serve as a testament to her talent and versatility as an actress. Janine Turner is an American actress born on December 6, 1962, in Lincoln, Nebraska. She gained fame for her portrayal of Maggie O'Connell in the popular television series, Northern Exposure, which aired from 1990 to 1995. Turner's role as the feisty and independent bush pilot earned her critical acclaim and a dedicated fan base. Throughout her career, Turner has appeared in numerous films and television shows, showcasing her talent and versatility as an actress. Beyond acting, she is also a successful author and public speaker, covering topics such as politics, patriotism, and personal empowerment. Presently, Janine Turner is 61 years old, continuing to work in the entertainment industry while also pursuing her interests in writing and activism. Her contributions to both the realms of entertainment and public discourse have left a lasting impact, cementing her as a respected figure in Hollywood and beyond. Meg Tilly is a Canadian-American actress and author born on February 14, 1960, in Long Beach, California. She gained fame for her roles in several prominent films in the 1980s and 1990s, including The Big Chill, 1983, for which she received an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress, and Agnes of God, 1985, earning her a Golden Globe Award and another Academy Award nomination. Tilly's acting career spanned decades during which she demonstrated her versatility in both dramatic and comedic roles. In addition to her success on screen, she has also ventured into writing, publishing several acclaimed novels. Currently, Meg Tilly is 64 years old, having transitioned away from acting to focus primarily on her writing career. Her achievements in both literature and film have solidified her as a talented and multifaceted artist, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances and compelling storytelling. Mia Sarah is an American actress born on June 19, 1967, in Brooklyn Heights, New York. She gained widespread fame for her role as Sloane Peterson in the classic 1986 comedy film, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, where she portrayed the love interest of the titular character played by Matthew Broderick. Following her breakout role in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Sarah continued to act in various films and television shows, showcasing her talent and versatility as an actress. Some of her notable credits include Legend, 1985, opposite Tom Cruise and Time Cop, 1994, alongside Jean-Claude Van Damme. 
While Sarah's acting career has been marked by several memorable performances, she has also pursued other interests outside of the entertainment industry. Now, Mia Sarah is 56 years old, leaving behind a legacy of iconic roles and memorable performances that have solidified her as a beloved figure in film history. Madeline Stowe is an American actress born on August 18, 1958, in Los Angeles, California. She gained widespread fame for her captivating performances in a variety of films throughout the 1980s and 1990s. Stowe's breakthrough role came in the 1992 film, The Last of the Mohicans, where she starred as Cora Monroe opposite Daniel Day-Lewis, earning critical acclaim for her portrayal of the strong and resilient character. Throughout her career, Stowe has continued to impress audiences and critics alike with her talent and versatility as an actress. As of now, Madeline Stowe is 65 years old, continuing to work in the entertainment industry and leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances and contributions to cinema. Her achievements as an actress have solidified her as one of the most respected figures in Hollywood. Jennifer Connelly is an American actress born on December 12, 1970, in Cairo, New York. She gained widespread fame for her role as Sarah Williams in the 1986 fantasy film, Labyrinth, directed by Jim Henson. However, it was her performance in the 2000 drama film, Requiem for a Dream, that garnered critical acclaim and established her as a versatile and talented actress. Throughout her career, Connolly has delivered powerful performances in a wide range of genres, from drama to science fiction to fantasy. Her notable roles include appearances in films such as, A Beautiful Mind, 2001, for which she won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress, House of Sand and Fog, 2003, and Blood Diamond, 2006. Presently, Jennifer Connolly is 53 years old, continuing to captivate audiences with her talent and versatility, and leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances and critical acclaim. Helen Slater is an American actress, singer, and songwriter born on December 15, 1963, in Bethpage, New York. She gained fame for her breakout role as Supergirl in the 1984 superhero film of the same name, which marked her film debut. Slater's portrayal of the iconic superheroine garnered her widespread recognition and helped launch her career in Hollywood. Following her success as Supergirl, Slater continued to work in both film and television, appearing in various roles across different genres. She notably starred in films like The Legend of Billie Jean, 1985, and City Slickers, 1991, and she has also made appearances in TV shows such as Smallville and Supergirl. As of now, Helen Slater is 60 years old, maintaining a presence in the entertainment industry through her acting, singing, and songwriting endeavors. Her contributions to film and television, particularly her iconic portrayal of Supergirl, have cemented her status as a beloved figure in pop culture. Linda Fiorentino is an American actress born on March 9, 1958, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She gained fame for her role as Bridget Gregory in the 1994 neo-noir film, The Last Seduction. Fiorentino's portrayal of the manipulative and cunning femme fatale earned her critical acclaim and established her as a talented actress in Hollywood. Throughout her career, Fiorentino has appeared in numerous films and television shows, showcasing her versatility and range as an actress. In addition to The Last Seduction, she starred in films like Men in Black, 1997, and Dogma, 1999, further solidifying her reputation as a skilled performer. Currently, Linda Fiorentino is 64 years old, 
While she has maintained a relatively low profile in recent years, her contributions to cinema, particularly her memorable performances in The Last Seduction and other notable films, have left a lasting impact on audiences and critics alike. Kim Cattrall is an American actress born on August 21, 1956, in Liverpool, England. She gained recognition for her role as Molly Ringwald's older sister in the 1984 classic film, Footloose. However, Cattrall is perhaps best known for her role as Dr. Beth Garner in the 1992 thriller, Basic Instinct, opposite Michael Douglas and Sharon Stone. Throughout her career, Catral has appeared in a variety of films and television shows, showcasing her talent and versatility as an actress. She has also worked extensively in theater, both on and off Broadway. While Catral's career has been marked by notable performances, she has maintained a relatively low profile in recent years. Now, Kim Catral is 65 years old. Despite this, her contributions to film and theater have left a lasting impact on audiences and fellow performers alike. Jennifer Rubin is an American actress born on April 3, 1962, in Phoenix, Arizona. She gained fame for her roles in various 1980s and 1990s horror and thriller films, including A Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors, 1987, where she portrayed the character Taryn White. Rubin's performance in horror films solidified her status as a scream queen during that era. Throughout her career, Rubin continued to work in film and television, appearing in a variety of genres. She showcased her talent and versatility as an actress, although she never reached the same level of prominence as during her peak in the horror genre. Today, Jennifer Rubin is 61 years old. While her career trajectory may have shifted over the years, her contributions to the horror genre and her memorable performances in cult classics have left a lasting impact on fans of the genre. Amanda Burse is an American actress, director, and comedian born on August 9, 1958, in Winter Park, Florida. She gained fame for her role as Marcy Rhodes Darcy in the iconic sitcom, Married, with Children, which aired from 1987 to 1997. Burse's portrayal of the sarcastic, no-nonsense neighbor garnered her widespread recognition and made her a household name. Following her success on, Married, with Children, Burse continued to work in television, also exploring directing and producing. She directed episodes of various TV shows, including The Jamie Foxx Show and Dharma and Greg. Presently, Amanda Burse is 65 years old. Throughout her career, she has made significant contributions to both acting and directing, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances and impactful work behind the camera. Bursa's versatility and talent have earned her respect in the entertainment industry and among fans of her work. Rebecca Sheffer was an American actress born on November 6, 1967, in Eugene, Oregon. She rose to fame through her role as Patricia, Patty, Russell in the television sitcom, My Sister Sam. Her career showed great promise with appearances in several TV shows and films, earning her critical acclaim and a growing fan base. Tragically, Schaefer's life was cut short when she was fatally shot by an obsessed fan named Robert John Bardo on July 18, 1989, in Los Angeles, California. Her untimely death shocked the entertainment industry and led to significant changes in stocking laws, prompting the passage of anti-stocking legislation. Despite her brief time in the spotlight, 
Schaefer's legacy endures through her impactful contribution to raising awareness about the dangers of celebrity obsession and the need for stricter measures to protect public figures. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey through time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more captivating content. Until next time, stay tuned for more updates on your favorite celebrities.